Today marks one year since Brianna Taylor was killed by police during a raid at her apartment. And as CBS 2's Karen Dillon reports, people around the country gathered to mark the somber occasion. Brianna Taylor! On the one year anniversary of her death, hundreds of people marched in honor of Brianna Taylor Saturday. Through the streets of Manhattan, they chanted her name, holding her legacy close to their hearts. I wonder what she would say if she was here. But she can't speak for herself, and that's why we're here. Oh, black trans lives matter, black women's lives matter, black lives matter. I feel like if we're not repeating it enough, people will forget to, to stand up for it. 26-year-old Taylor, an emergency medical technician, was shot and killed by police during a botched raid in her Kentucky home last year. The three police officers involved have since been fired. None have been criminally charged in her death because the state's attorney general has said they acted to protect themselves. I want to come out with the people who I protested with all last year and be a part of it again and remind people that we're still upset about this. Many of the people here at this rally say one year after Breonna Taylor's death, they are feeling a mix of emotions, including anger, sadness, and frustration. They say Breonna Taylor did not receive justice and they will not stop speaking out until she does. Protesters here at home joined thousands across the country to mark Taylor's death. Many saying they want resources reallocated to black and brown communities in need. Yes, we are out here for Breonna Taylor, but we are out here for black liberation. It's not rocket science. This system knows, this government knows that if you give people the resources they need to survive, we'll be able to sustain ourselves and not just survive, but thrive. They say while Taylor's death was a tragedy, they won't let it be in vain. In Times Square, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News.